a really good one. So this one is the first Hebea. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites in terms of simplicity and design. When it comes to Shein, when you'll see the other ones, you'll kind of see what I'm saying. But with this one, what I really like about it are the sleeves, of course. And I feel like they're just super light and fluffy. So if I'm wearing this, um, I feel like I can wear it. They're not that see-through, so I feel like I can wear them on their own just because of how fluffy they are. You can't really see skin. Um, I do have something underneath now, but I do love the fluffiness of these sleeves. They're a little bit too fluffy, I will say, around the shoulders. I was expecting them to be a lot less fluffy and unfortunately came out a little bit like that, but I don't really mind as much. My sister will call me a <laughs> pilgrim for sure, but I can handle that. Um, and then another detail I really love is, so this waist is supposed to be a little bit more cinched. I ordered this in a size up because they were out of a small, so I ordered a medium. And I mean, I wish it was a little tighter, but in terms of length, um, it drapes to the floor really, really well. Um, I can't get the full frame in just because my angles, but it gets to the floor pretty well. So I would say if you're on the taller side, maybe order a size up so that it fits you height-wise because I'm noticing when you'll see later on, the smalls tend to fit a little bit shorter when you're wearing them. Um, so I can do without the waist being super cinched and of course it's at Bea, so I don't want it to be anyways. And then I love this like pleated design here. I'll zoom in, but you could see a little bit more of the puff sleeves and you could see with the pleats that it just gives some detail to that bay and makes it feel a lot more nice. And in terms of you know, when it comes to sort of the material, it's definitely nice and like thick. And when I say thick, I mean that it's like good quality. So you could feel the material, it feels like it's good quality. It doesn't feel super thin and like that it could easily wrinkle or anything like that. This one was pretty easy to steam. It also does zip up in the back. So it lets it kind of like lift all the way to the top because it is a high neck one. So it's great because you don't have to worry about your um, neck showing at all if you don't want to show it or your chest area. And then that way I can just wear a hijab like this draped over and it's pretty easy to deal with. So this one is one of my favorites. I'll rate it kind of like an eight or nine out of 10, I would say, maybe even a nine. I'd give it like a nine out of 10. I like it that much. It's just super cute. I can't wait to wear it up and about um, when I'm going somewhere that I want to wear a habeya too. So this is my second habeya. This one I want to call the Princess Jasmine habeya. And that's because of these beautiful sleeves. They just give me these jasmine vibes because they have like this blue or this purpley green iridescence to them with this like gold detail. And they're a little bit sheer. So you can either wear, you know, um, like something nude like this or another option would be to wear like a black long sleeve underneath if you do want to keep it, um, you know, on that side. But I do love the way this is. I'm not sure if it actually came with a belt, um, but I have a bunch of abeys that did come with a belt, so I wanted to add it on just because I felt like it gave it this more streamlined look. It just made it feel a lot more smooth and flow before it was like kind of like A-shaped, and then now it's just streamlined, and I feel like the bow to the side just is the final touch that makes this everything. High neck, and there's no buttons with this one. The only button is in the back to kind of close it up, but otherwise you don't have to like maneuver anything. It's probably the easiest to put on when it comes to hebeas and just, yeah, love it. I'll give you a little close up of the sleeves. This is kind of what they look like here. Don't we just love the Princess Jasmine vibes? I'm living for it. Honestly, I think I would have preferred to wear a black long sleeve with it because I think it would just flow a lot better but I'm not mad at the way this looks. So yeah, this is Abeya number two. So we are at Abeya number three. This one's special touch are the gold details on the side. We have it down the sleeve and we also have it down here. I was most excited for this Abeya and I'll be honest, this is probably the most disappointing, I would say, because the material just feels very stiff and with that stiffness, it makes it kind of a little bit poofy. So it almost feels like I'm wearing kind of like my mom and me decided like a kimono almost just because the poofiness and um, I did wear a black shirt underneath because it does um, this one it doesn't kind of go over you have to sort of like 
I guess, tie it in the middle um, and bring two sides together. So do keep that in mind. But I don't like the quality on this one at all. I think I'm going to return it because it just doesn't live up to my standards, I guess. I just don't like the um, seams. When you look at the details of this seam, it just is kind of choppy and it's choppy a little bit some places here when it came to the sewing. Um, which obviously I should expect from these cheap Ibeas, but I mean, compared to the other ones I have, I would say this one is just like a skip. I would rather just put a couple more dollars and get something a lot nicer. And I just don't love how poofy it is. I will say I do want to try if bringing the string back like this. I don't know. You be the judge and tell me if that looks a little bit better if I bring, if I tie it to the back instead of bringing it, that bow to the front. Um, I don't know if that's gonna help with the poofiness, but I did the same thing. I wore my classic black hijab with that veya, and yeah, not my favorite one, I will say. But it's okay, that's what Shein is, and that's what this video is all about, is trying stuff on so you know not to buy it, <laughs> or to buy it. But here's a close-up of the details. You could see here, that lovely goldness. Honestly, if this habeya was just a little bit more weighed down, I think it would just be absolutely great. If I think it was a different material, it would have been stunning. So, unfortunate miss, but that's okay. Abeya number four is one of my favorites. So I have over here these beautiful flowers that just look really cute. There's about four or five. Oh no, there's more than five. There's a couple on each arm but I just love the way this droops down. I think the material on this is a lot thinner. Um, the quality of the material is so-so, I would say. It's nice because it's light and airy. I do have to wear a black shirt because it is one of those that I have to tie in the middle, so do be careful with what you wear underneath. Um, so with that, you can obviously see my pants, my sweatpants under here, um, but I did like putting the bow in the front, so this one does come with a fabric to kind of tie it up, of course. And then I want to show you a little bit of the flowers. So as you can see, these flowers are silver. They got a little bit of silver glitter with some pearls dangling. I really love that detail. Probably the most casual abbe I got. The only weird thing is they're like laying on foam, I believe. It feels like foam. When I tap into it, it feels like foam. Um, so that's kind of a little bit awkward. So if someone looks at your abeya really well, they're going to notice that detail. They're really that nosy. Um, but I love sort of just the flowiness of it. I like how casual it is. I feel like I can wear this kind of on any day and it's going to work, whether it's kind of like maybe something a little bit more formal, maybe something a little bit more casual. I feel like it can fit in for either just because of how simple it is and I like wearing this hijab with it. Maybe you could do, if you want to be super extra, you could do like a silver glittery hijab. That would be pretty fun. Um, I know you could probably find something like that. Or you could do a white hijab, or you could do maybe like a gray one. But this one was affordably priced, if I remember correct. And I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. 8, 9 out of 10. It's really, it's honestly like what I would expect from Shein and still being kind of like decent quality. This one is my favorite habeya of them all. He's like the best for last. This will probably be my Eid outfit, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna show you two options. So I wanna show you with black sleeves underneath because I will warn you that this part, the netting is sheer. Over here, they kind of give you obviously the new dress underneath, but um, on top on the sleeves, they didn't really give me anything to work with. It was just straight up sheer. I like with this one that they give you the option to kind of choose whatever sleeves you like um, because you can just put underneath, you know, either a black long sleeve or a nude one, depending on whatever you want. And I like this bow. I think I like it laid like this. You could obviously put it any way you want. You could like bring it to the back if you really want. Maybe wear it like this. Um, but it's just super nice. This one runs a little bit on the longer side. I believe I went with a medium for this one. So I went up a size. And I honestly like it. I think it fits really, really well. I think with a belt, it definitely helps cinch it in. But in terms of length, it's definitely on the longer side. But I feel like such a princess when I wear this. Um, I'll go 
obviously come up a little bit closer so we could see a little bit of the details. You do have to make sure you wear something underneath um, that's one unison color because the nude underneath is really sheer so it could just show any color underneath. So this is the look. What do we think? I give this one a 10 out of 10. I just absolutely love it. All right, this is what it looks like with the nude. I think I definitely prefer it. The only caveat with that is it looks kind of awkward when you have two different nudes. So I have a nude here, and then I have a little bit of another nude here. This is like pinky, or this one's more like peachy or more taupey. And honestly, I feel like that kind of clashes a little bit when it comes to this outfit. So I think the black would be a better game, but I'm gonna close up a little bit here so you can kind of see what I mean. It's like a little bit awkward the way they're kind of two different tones. I mean, maybe someone doesn't really notice. I almost wish they just kind of gave me the full package and gave me the sleeves that had um, the same tone of nude here because it is one of those Aveas, I don't know, interesting way about how she does things. So I wanna give this a 10, I was, it was a 10 out of 10. I want to give it like a 9.5. I think if they just fixed that one detail, it would have been a lot better, but otherwise, I'm still obsessed. It's just a gorgeous Abeya that I can't wait to wear for Aid. Um, whether it's this Aid or the next Aid, maybe I'll just take a cute picture with it for this Aid and call it a day. So, this is the last Abeya. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini haul and that is it for our haul i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what your favorite abbey was i'll see you in the next one